Have you ever noticed that sharp cramp in your gut and wondered, is this just gas or something serious? Well, you're not alone. In fact, did you know that nearly 40% of people mistake these dangerous conditions for gas pain? Today, we'll uncover when bloating signals real trouble. So stay tuned because by the end of this video, you LL learn which warning signs mean it's time for a doctor's visit and which ones can signal something more serious. We'll start with the most common cause of gas pain, which is also the most likely culprit behind your current discomfort. Yep, you guessed it, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. While it shares symptoms with other conditions, IB stands out due to its impact on your digestive system. Imagine this, you've got a belly full of cramping pains, especially when things get moving in your gut. Either way, constipation or diarrhea, and it seems like certain foods or stress just make it worse. Sound familiar? If so, you might be dealing with IBS. Plus, there's an interesting twist here. According to research, about two-thirds of EP patients experience abdominal pain linked to altered bowel movements. This means that your stool may change in appearance during flare-ups, giving you another clue. Next, let's talk about functional dyspepsia. Picture this, you frequently have an uneasy feeling in your upper belly and there's heartburn to boot. Now pay close attention to when the pain strikes. Does it happen after meals? Functional dyspepsia thrives on that kind of misery and here's a bonus, it's unrelated to any particular meal. The pain can stick around for weeks. Oh, and don't forget the bloating. It's usually worse after you eat. All right, we've covered the basics. Now let's dive into what could be seriously wrong. Here's your wake-up call. If you're experiencing stomach pain alongside high fever, alarming signs like vomiting or blood in your stool or unexpected weight loss, it's time to take action. Those are red flags indicating that it's not your run-of-the-mill gas pain. Instead, they suggest a more complex issue lurking beneath the surface. Let's break them down one by one. First, consider gallbladder attacks. Imagine this, you feel a sudden stabbing pain under your right ribs. It's the kind of pain that shoots up towards your shoulder and settles into your back. Now remember that. The gallbladder hangs out under your liver and stores bile. It helps digest fats. Think about when you last felt this pain. Did it happen after indulging in a fatty meal? If so, it might be a sign of a blocked bile duct or even an inflamed gallbladder. Either way, it's not your average stomach ache. Speaking of fiery feelings, how about peptic ulcers? Picture this. You feel a burning sensation in your stomach, especially right after a meal. Doesn't matter what you eat. The pain persists, refusing to quit. And if heartburn is your constant companion, well, it's not just a spicy food mishap. Peptic ulcers thrive in this kind of discomfort. And let's not forget heartburn, or what doctors call GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. When stomach acid backs up into your esophagus, you're in for a fiery ride. Symptoms include frequent heartburn, difficulty swallowing, and a sour taste in your mouth. If those resonate with you, it might be more than just acid reflux. It could be gared. And here's a kicker. Being overweight or smoking can crank up your risk. So if you're feeling the heat, it's worth checking out. All right, we've covered some serious contenders, but wait, there's more to the story. How about IBD, inflammatory bowel disease? We're talking about conditions like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. They bring bloody diarrhea and weight loss to the mix. We'll focus on Crohn's for now, but similar symptoms could point to ulcerative colitis as well. Now imagine this, you experience bouts of inflammation in your digestive tract. When it flares up, things get real uncomfortable. Abdominal pain, diarrhea, and fatigue set in, making each day a challenge. Now let's tackle appendicitis. Remember that small worm-shaped appendix hanging out near your belly button? Well, appendicitis happens when it gets inflamed. As the pain begins near your belly button, it takes a turn and ends up on the right side. Moving around makes it feel worse. If that sounds like what you're dealing with, it's not just growing pains. It might be appendicitis. Next up is bowel obstruction. Picture this. 
you're doubled over in pain with cramps that won't quit. And here's a troubling twist. You haven't had a bowel movement for a few days. Vomiting adds to the misery. If this scenario hits close to home, it might be a bowel obstruction. Time to head to the emergency room right away. Finally, we'll discuss diverticulitis. It involves small pouches or diverticula that can form in your digestive system. When these pouches become inflamed or infected, the pain is usually sharp and you can easily point to the exact spot on your left side. Now let's do a quick recap. We've covered several potential issues from gas pain, including IBS, functional dyspepsia, gallbladder attacks, peptic ulcers, GER, IBD, appendicitis, bowel obstruction, and diverticulitis. Remember, gas pain typically subsides when you pass gas or use the restroom. But if you notice blood in your stool or experience sudden weight loss, high fever, vomiting, or persistent severe pain, it's essential to seek medical attention promptly. You already know that experiencing stomach pain isn't fun. So here's your mission. Should you choose to accept it? Start by cutting back on gassy foods like beans, onions, and soda. But if your symptoms align with any of the conditions we've discussed today, it's time to schedule a doctor's appointment. By doing so, you can work towards finding the underlying cause of your discomfort and getting on the path to feeling better. And here's some good news. Most of the conditions we cover can be effectively managed with the right support and treatment. It's important to remember that everyone is different and there's no one-size-fits-all approach. So don't hesitate to ask questions and be your own health advocate. You deserve to feel your best. If you found this helpful, do not miss these next two videos where we dive into more ways to keep your gut in tip-top shape. See you there.